you want to make sure you're creating mad goals for yourself when you're as you go into 2021 mad goals right and so the m stands for measurable right so when you when you're when you're thinking about man what what goals do i want to accomplish what what things do i want to accomplish in the year 2021 you have to make sure that the goals you set for yourself that they are measurable right and what i mean by measurable right so if you have a business and you have a product that you're selling at this moment or you're gonna you have a business you're gonna drop a product in the year 2021 right you gotta make sure you say say you got a business you're like i want to you know, a lot of people say, oh, uh, I got a business. I got this product I'm about to drop. And, and, and your goal for the business is I want to make sales. Okay. You want to make sales. Right. And so, but, but that's not specific enough. Right. Because just saying you want to make sales doesn't let you know if you were successful or not. Why? Because you didn't make it measurable. So it's like catch this for instance, right? Many times we will we will say like say this, we will make our goals very broad. So I you say I want to make sales, okay? So say your company makes three hundred sales in the year 20, 2021, right? But then say a a another company makes five hundred sales, you're going to look at your business as not being successful. Why? Because you're looking at their business and they did 500 in sales and you looking at yours and you did 300 sales. Right. But but you never made your goal measurable. You just said you wanted sales and you got sales. But when you compare your sales to another company sale, you're disappointed. You're frustrated. You feel unfulfilled. You're going into 20. Right. You, you, you're going into 2022 feeling like, man, in 2021, I failed in my business. Why? Because you didn't make your 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 goals measurable. But if you say to yourself, you know what, I want I want to make at least 300 sales for my business in the year 2021. Now you have made your goal measurable. So when your business begins to go and you begin to sell in the year 2021, when you when when the end of 2021 arrives and your business hits 300 sales, you'll be able to walk away and say, you know what? I'm successful. My business was a success. Why? Because you met your goal. You made your goal measurable. Same thing with scholars. When people, you know, think about you ask your kids, how do you want to, you know, say, what's your goal in school? I just want to get good grades. What is good grades? Is that all A's? Is that B's? Is that C's? Is that A, B, C, and D? So parents, you got to help your kids establish measurable goals. Write down, okay, I want all A's or I want all A's and, 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 and only one B. Those are measurable goals. So when the report card comes out in the spring, they're able to say, you know what, mama, I was obsessed because my goal was to get all A's and a B, but I got all A's, so I met my goal. But if you just say, I want to I wanna get good grades and your scholar gets a C, a B, a A, can you really say that they failed? Because you never determined or, or, or decided what success truly was. So, so when we are creating our goals, if you write a book and you sell a book, right? You need to make sure you can't just say, I just want to sell my book. Okay. Like, but, but, but I need your goal to be measurable. Say, man, I want to sell 1000 books. Okay. Now we get somewhere. 1000 books. That's the goal. That's the goal. It's measurable. You, you got to be able to measure your goal. It has to be measurable. All right. Then, and I know, like I said on Facebook, you can't see this, but, but it is up on IG Live and I, I make sure I transfer the second acronym, right? In the, the, the second letter, A, right? So when I say you need to create mad goals, the M stands for measurable. Then you got the A, right? The A stands for attainable, right? Your goal has to be measurable. Right. So, man, I want to make 300 sales, man. I want all A's and a B. You know what I'm saying? Man, I want to sell 1000 books. That's that's measurable. Then you want to make sure it's attainable. Right. And, and the third one goes with it. But I get to it. So you want to make sure it's attainable. So so I'm a dream big guy. Right. Just like I talked about on, on multiple tackle Thursdays. Um, I tell my scholars, I tell them dream. Right. Reach for the moon. Dream for the moon, 
right? And if you don't reach the moon, you'll land on some stars. And I and I I've shared it how the NFL was my was my moon. The NFL was my moon, right? So I went for the NFL, right? But I didn't get to the NFL, but I landed on some stars. The AFL, the Arena Football League, which is still a professional football league, was my stars, right? So 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 I want you to dream big, but you have to make sure that your goals are attainable, right? So for instance, if you're in high school, you, you right, and you play basketball, and your goal for 2021 is to make it to the NBA. Well, that goal is not attainable in 2021. You're only in eighth grade. You can't go to the NBA in 2021. Now, if you were to say, you know, if you take your year, whatever year that is, say it's in 2026 or whatever. I don't, I don't have the math, but just say that if you say, I want to make it to the NBA in 2026 and you're still in grade school and that's the year you come out of college or whatever the case, then then now that goal is attainable because you, 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 you've given, you got the right time. But but you can't say, what up, wifey? You can't say that you want to, you know, make it to the end you want to make it to the NBA in this year and you're only in the eighth grade that's not attainable you know what i'm saying like my goal was to make it to the nfl and when i was in high school right when i was in high school that was my goal but that wasn't my goal while i was in high school like that was a long-term goal it wasn't attainable for me to do it in high school it wasn't attainable for me to do it in college right so so it's some some goals that you're 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 saying you want to accomplish right now and it's not attainable because maybe you need more time to do that. Maybe it's unrealistic because you haven't got to that stage yet. So, so, so you got to make sure the goals that you're setting is attainable. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and so the third one and the third and second one. So it's attainable. And then the third one. So out of the MAD goals, the MAD acronym, M-A-D, measurable, attainable, and then deadline driven, right? So the deadline that you put on your goals should let you know if it's attainable or not. You get what I'm saying? So like I said, if you say I want to, if you're in the eighth grade and you say I want to make it to the NBA by the end of 2021, your deadline for that goal makes the goal unattainable. But if you make the deadline to the goal the year you come out of college, now that's attainable. You get what I'm saying? So, so as we're, 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 we're creating our goals for 2021, you got to make sure your goals are measurable. You got you to gotta put a number, uh, uh, something you can measure it by. You can't just say, I want to make sales in my business. No, that's too broad. How many sales would you like to make? You can't say, I just want to sell amount, this amount of books. No, that's too broad. How many books do you want to sell? You know what I'm saying? Like, how many books do you want to sell? Then, when you get the measuring, the measurable aspect of your goal, now you got to say, okay, you got to make sure it's attainable. You know what I'm saying? If I'm in 10th grade, you can't say, oh, I want to graduate this year. You're not going to graduate in the 10th grade. So a more attainable goal in the 10th grade is, oh, I want to end the school year with a three. I want to go be going into my junior year with a three, five weighted unweighted GPA. That is more attainable. Graduation is not attainable for you in the 10th grade. So 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 try making that your goal in 10th grade. That's unattainable. But saying you want a three, five GPA before you go to your junior year, that's attainable in the 10th grade. And then you got to make sure that your goals are deadline driven. If you just make your goals measurable and, and but you don't add a deadline. If you don't say if you if you say if you don't say, add a deadline to to your goals that you want to accomplish, you can be working on these goals forever. You won't you won't feel the, 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 the push. You won't feel the the motivation to to get it done. Because there's no deadline. But if you say, man, you know what? Uh, by, 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 uh, by the end of February, I want to have my book written, ready to publish. Well, you're going to get to writing. Why? 